Medicare can be a 20-year journey of lies and mistakes. Yeah, okay, let's talk about that. <clears throat> this is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. A lot of people approach Medicare with some trepidation because for many of them, about 70% of the people out there, they've never had to buy health insurance. It's always been provided through their employer. So, uh, you know, it's, it's very understandable that now all of a sudden you're faced with these Medicare choices and what do I do? And unfortunately, there's a lot of folks out there, some of them are well-intentioned, your friends and relatives in particular, some are well-intentioned say, well, here's what you need to do. Uh, this is what I did and it's the greatest thing in the world. Well, okay. The real test of any insurance plan is what happens when you have a claim and I suspect that a lot of people that have bought Medicare Advantage plans in particular they love them because they've never really had to test them they've never had to use them uh, I like to tell folks that they're the greatest plans in the world until you need them and then they become very expensive and you're going to curse them uh, but that's a whole nother story um, a lot of people, as they're approaching Medicare, they want to make decisions on their own. They've been making decisions on their own for a long time, and they want to make decisions on their own, and you should. You actually should. You should not look to somebody to tell you, this is what you have to do. This is what you need to do. This is what you should do. You're an adult. You've made it this far. You're going to make it, hopefully, for many, many, many years. But just make sure that you get good advice. And that's where I come in. Uh, I've been in the health insurance business for over 45 years. I've uh, worked the Medicare market exclusively for the last almost 10 years, and I'm on Medicare myself. So I have a different perspective on Medicare than most of the people that you would talk to, and including your friends and relatives. You know, so let's just go with that. People like to make one decision and stick with it. That's okay as long as you make a good decision. If you make a bad decision, well, you may find out that you can't change it. Uh, and that's one of the things that people are surprised about when they start talking about Medicare and they say, well, I'll just pick a plan and if I don't like it, I'll change it. Uh, it doesn't work that way. There are certain rules and in some cases you may have to go through medical underwriting before you can make a change. Others you may have to wait to a certain time of year to make a change. But it's not just, I don't like this. Here, take it back and I'll go get something else. It doesn't work that way. So uh, that's one thing to think of. <clears throat> the other thing is people will say, well, some doctors don't take Medicare. Well, that's pretty much wrong. Just about every doctor out there takes Medicare. A lot of them will not take Medicare Advantage plans, or they'll take some Medicare Advantage plans, but not others. And people think that when they have a Medicare Advantage plans, that that is their supplement plan to original Medicare. It is not. When you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you have a PPO or an HMO. Most of the plans in Georgia are HMO. And they are the ones that are providing your benefits. They make the rules. And you either follow them or you don't. So when people say some doctors don't take Medicare, they're probably talking about Medicare Advantage plans because you can run into situations with access to health care with an Advantage plan. Another thing I hear is, well, gosh, my friends don't pay a premium. How can that be? Well, you know, this is another one of those mysteries of life, and I'm not going to go into how it works, but basically it means that since you're not paying a premium, you're paying the lion's share of your health care cost. It may not look like it, but you are paying the lion's share of your, uh, your health care cost because there are no free lunches out there. So there's always a catch. Um, they, they think that they can't be rejected. Well, you know, like I said, I'll just change in the future when my health changes. That's the time that I really need to buy a, a supplement plan. 
uh, wrong. <laughs> That's the time you probably can't buy a supplement plan. And keep in mind, supplement and Medigap are the same thing. They're interchangeable terms like Kleenex and tissue. But they think because of Obamacare that they cannot be rejected for a Medigap plan. Yes, you can. So don't make that mistake. Uh, they'll say, well, we'll buy a big name carrier because they've got to be the best. That's why they're big. And all the doctors and hospitals take them. Well, yeah, all the doctors and hospitals also take those little carriers that you've never heard of. Um, so don't get stuck with buying a big name. Buy direct from a carrier. That's going to solve all my problems. I don't have to deal with a salesman <clears throat> who's going to try and sell me something that I don't want, don't need, and can't afford. Well, if you think that you're going to get straight information and you're going to get unbiased information by going direct to a carrier, you're wrong. All you're going to hear is what they have to offer. They're not going to tell you that, well, there might be something better over here with this other carrier. So you're not going to get that kind of information. Uh, or they say, buy from my group carrier. We've had Blue Cross for years. We've had United Healthcare for years, and they've always been good. And we'll just take what they've got because they've been good to us. That's probably a mistake too. And I'm not putting down Blue Cross or United Healthcare. I'm just saying that if you come to the crossroads at age 65 and you don't know what you're doing, you decide, well, the easiest thing is just let's not change horses. Let's keep on this same horse. You're probably going to regret it at some point in the future. Uh, drug plans, Medicare drug plans are one of the most confusing things out there. And people think because they hear that Medigap plans, which are Medicare supplement plans, they think that Medigap plans, well, they're all the same except for the premium, they believe that also applies to drug plans. It's not. It's not. You don't go for the plan with the lowest premium and assume that that's going to be the best for everything. It may be that because of your situation and the medications that you take or the lack thereof, the lowest price plan is the best plan, but don't just assume that. And by the same token, don't think that you need to look for a plan that doesn't have a deductible. We're talking about drug plans now. Don't think you have to look for a plan that doesn't have a deductible because it's going to be cheaper. No, it's not. I've got a number of clients on drug plans and I could probably, uh, over 500 clients, I can probably count on one hand the number of folks that have a drug plan that does not have a deductible. Clue there, okay? Um, and, you know, they say, well, I should have the same plan that my friends have because it works for them. If your friends have never tested their plan, if they've never had a claim, they have no idea if it works or not. They have no idea how it works. I talked to a lady today, 76 years old. She's had Medicare Advantage plans ever since she turned 65. And until today, she had no idea how her plan worked because she's enjoyed perfect health for the last however many years, 76, 11 years. She has enjoyed perfect health health for the last 11 years so she really has never tested her plan she's on one medication for thyroid a lot of people are and she's has never been in the hospital at least that's what she tells me so she says hey this is great i don't pay a premium and my health care doesn't cost a whole lot and i'm not planning on getting sick well who is <laughs> I mean, after all, okay, enough of this. The bottom line is that if you're trying to make a decision, give me a call, let me answer your questions, and, you know, either you'll appreciate the information or you won't. It's not going to matter to me one way or the other. I enjoy helping people. This is also my business, and I hope to earn a right to your business but uh, I, don't, I don't make a living dishing out free advice day after day after day, uh, but also don't charge. So, you know, get a, get a free consult. Give me 10 minutes, 5 minutes, whatever you feel like you need. 
the lady I talked to today for an hour and a half. Uh, and that's unusual. But she had a bunch of questions. It was She was doing most of the talking, not me. But give me a call. I'd love to help you. This is Bob Vineyard with the Georgia Medicare Minute. You take care. Have a great day.